Hello once again, my name is Frank and welcome to TVL. Now, um, you know I haven't quite done something for those who are starting from um, maybe the lowest level of singing. For instance, you were never a singer and maybe you want to start singing and you have a challenge of off-key or maybe you're already singing. You know, some singers tend to go off-key sometimes and um, not just off-key. This, what I'm going to show you today is going to help you as well to perfect your pitch, okay? So we're going to start with this and see how far we can go in this video. If not, we, we're going to extend it to other videos, all right? So um, first thing I need to make you understand is that um, sound is color, okay? And we have various colors. The same way that I see colors, you know, blue, green, red, yellow, uh, purple, what have you, ears hear colors too. That, the, the colors for the ears is pitch, sound. So the human being can hear from 20 hertz frequency, I'm talking about frequency, from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. All right? And so that's why we do what we do here so we can extend our range and give our music more color because the more color you know you're using your music the better all right imagine you know a world just made up of two colors maybe blue and green blue and green everywhere you look blue or green it's gonna be really boring you don't even want to imagine that okay so the same thing with the ears when you're singing and you have very limited range it's like using two or three colors you're not really using um, 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 all the colors or most of the colors for the ears, which is pitch, the low bass part, the mid, your mid range, your high range. Okay, everybody has that. Even if you're a lady, you have a low range, you have a mid range, you have a high range. And if you find it difficult, you no know, singing in the low range, that means you're not singing with technique and you may need to um, uh, um, exercise your voice to uh, discover your low range so you can use uh, the full acoustic of your um, voice, all right? So, <clears throat> like I said, the colors for the ears is the pitch. So, for instance, we have this, this is quite low. Sometimes when I'm singing, some notes may go there, all right? So that's a color. And, and then the mid-range, by the way, uh, vocally to sound, uh, uh, mid-range, my mid-range, uh, and then maybe high range. Uh. So when you're singing, you, you find out that singing, like I always say, is dynamic in nature, and you find several notes, all right? The more notes, the better. That's the first thing, and secondly, I've, um, you know, it's usually a, a nightmare for most vocal coaches, in fact, all vocal coaches, um, for a student to um, have a challenge of off key because it's not, <clears throat> it's not the easiest to um, teach someone out of because the person came to you tone deaf. Well, I couldn't avoid it. You know, uh, some of them do come to me. Some of them, um, in fact, most of them have actually succeeded in bringing them out of um, being off key. In fact, one of them is a video you find um, here, all right, where I taught someone called Sonia. And she was tone deaf in the beginning. She she was a zero singer, tone deaf, off key. So she goes off key and all that. But at the end of the day, we ta we taught her out of it, and she's now on key and still improving her voice today. So she can go on and learn other things like vibrato styles and so on. But she's so happy now because now she can sing and sing on key, and her voice is richer now. All right. So it's very good. It's very good thing to come out of off key and it gives you confidence as well because sometimes you know the thought of um, you knowing that you sometimes go off key can you no know, can knock you off balance especially when you're singing in front of people because the thought of it might make you even go off key all right so it's good to completely eliminate that okay so now <clears throat> What I usually do, one of my greatest weapon that I usually use to help people overcome um, the challenge of off key is tonics of annotation. I've done a couple of videos on tonics of annotation. So if you want to learn more about it, you need to go to those videos and watch them. Part one, part two, part three. All right. 
it's a very good powerful tool for singers not just those, those that go off key but if you want to go to the next level and master sound <laughs> yes master sound you need to learn tonic soft annotation okay so um i'm gonna use a range okay one thing you need to know in this range there are um, eight notes and these eight notes are distinct they are distinct no one of them is the same because ladies and guys live on different um band um of uh, of frequency or different areas or different areas of the pitch we're gonna do something for the ladies and something for the guys okay so for ladies i want you to go start from here all right so we're gonna do this real quickly so uh the first one is do so your turn do again do your turn do next one do re do your turn do re do the next one do re mi re do your turn do re mi re do let's add another one do re mi fa mi re do your turn do re mi fa mi re do let's add another one do re mi fa so fa mi re do your turn let's go do re mi fa so fa mi re do you got it now for the guys let's begin here do hmm maybe that might be too low so let's begin here do you ready so do do your turn do do re do you go do re do again do re do your turn do re do next one do re mi re do your turn do re mi re do let's add another one to the top do re mi fa mi re do your turn do re mi fa mi re do one more do re mi fa so fa mi re do your turn do re mi fa so fa mi re do so you can play this back remember the more you do it the more you're strong the, the stronger you get with it okay and very soon your off key challenge will disappear okay so this is just stage one watch out for the next one thank you